and given that up. So I'm pretty sure he feels he is well part of advancing the advancing domestically, and I'm sure he'll be very confident of going home tonight with three titles. Hugely awaited, and this is why. Look at how close these statistics are. Hunter is younger and does have the height advantage, both nicely inside the 810 limit. He'll be looking to keep Pickering on the outside. Pickering has the edge in speed, the edge in years boxed. Rounds and fights, knockout, not much between them. It looks a long distance affair, but who's going to win it? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event and there is standing room only. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Borough Hall here in Hartlepool. Barry Hearn from Matron Sport in association with Tommy Gilmore proudly presents for your entertainment 12 rounds of boxing for the British Commonwealth and European Super Bantamweight Championship. Sponsored here by PokerMillion.com for a great game of online poker. It's a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live and exclusive here on Sky Sports. It's Friday Fight Night. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board to control our supervisor, Mr. Charlie Giles. Steward in charge, Mr. Fred Potter. Area representative is Mr. John Jarrett. Our chief inspector is Mr. Reg Long. Our timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Arnold Bryson. Our three scoring judges at ringside, all from England. Richie Davis, Mark Green, and Mr. Ian John Lewis. The referee in charge of the action from Wellingborough is Mr. John King. They are the officials, and here are the contestants. Introducing to you, firstly, and fighting out of the red corner, wearing the camouflage trunks, weighing in at eight stone, my about ten ounces. He is undefeated. 23 contests, 22 wins. Nine inside the scheduled distance and one draw. Coming to the ring as the undefeated, reigning and defending British Super Bantamweight Champion from Hartlepool, Michael Hunter. <laughs> and a the ring fighting out of the blue corner wearing the red and black trunks. Weighing in at eight stone, nine pounds, 11 ounces with a 31 fight record, 29 wins, 12 inside the scheduled distance, and only three defeats. He is the reigning and defending Commonwealth and European Super Bantamweight Champion from Newark, where he is known as Isham, the King of Steam, Pickari. So, Sports fans and Sky Sports fans here on Friday Fight Night. It's 12 rounds of boxing for the British, the Commonwealth, and the European Super Bantamweight Championship. Right, you both received instructions in the dressing room. Do you know what I expect of both of you? Shake hands for that boxing. Amazing noise, intensity for this fascinating, much talked about clash that's been bubbling for the last couple of years in Britain. And tonight becomes reality. Two of our finest lighter boxers of recent times, two stylistically different technicians, and two men Second with it all round one. still to prove. Isham Pickering here in the red and black, putting his European and Commonwealth eight stone 10 belts on the line and starting a marginal favourite against the British champion Michael Hunter, who uh, one or two in the trade believe will cause the upset. He's got the home advantage. Pickering won't worry about that. It's just another great matchup. 
Yeah, yeah, and Pickering has surprised me. He, he's trying to make the early running coming forward, and he's walked on to several leads already. This is not the Isham Pickering I expected to see. I thought we'd see him cagey. I thought he would try to force some mistakes from the less experienced challenger, but he's committing himself, and he's getting pinned already. Usually very careful. Likes to have a good look, Isham Pickering. But this fight has been on the cards for two or three years now. They have utmost respect for each other, and they have studied tape after tape. Both camps have. Well, this is a very positive start from Hunter. I thought maybe it would take him a round or two to find some confidence, but he's finding the target already. He seems to have settled quicker than Pickering. Whipped himself into the shape of his life on the beaches here in Hartlepool. And the action warms up very, very quickly. Pickering's work improving a little bit now. Most felt it will be the tenacity uh, willpower and gameness of Hunter, who walks One, into a shot two, straight away three, inside the opening two minutes and three, is flawed and three, hurt. Three, and a beautiful three. punch pick by Isham Pickering. He has been hurt there, Adam, because it took quite a few seconds to get his senses back together again. Serious trouble here. And Pickering sensing this dramatic. As he comes closer, whips in the punches. That was out of the blue. That was certainly out of the blue. That's what you wanted with a less experienced fighter. And Hunter just had a positive start. He was doing well, but just dropped his concentration and paid the penalty. He seems to have in his head played now. He's getting himself back into things, but he's just been looking to survive here. He's well lost around now because of the knockdown. Just settle down, get back to the corner, get the head cleared. A confident shaker and breaker, and a positive fast start from Isham Pickering. Look at these punches. Well, well, well. Hunter smiles, but he realizes he's in the fight of his life here. Just the, the, the worst start imaginable for young Hunter, just when he was finding his confidence. Bang, left hook, bang on the chin. And you can see it took quite a few seconds to get his head together to think what to do next. Because he has a beautiful left hook. His legs just gone from under him. Eyes are looking glazed, he's looking down at the floor. He took quite a few seconds to get his head together, thinking, here, I better get myself back up here, get back into things. Just purely down to lack of experience, but I tell you, that was a beautiful punch. Disastrous start. But uh, Pickering, I'm sure we're looking for an early night now. Corners, 10 seconds. They put so much work into this. Pickering might have had the nightmare reception, but it is Hunter that's had the nightmare start. How will he react to it? But there's no point standing off against Isham Pickering. Hunter has to be the one, he has to take some chances. Can't worry about missing punches because you can't be precise against Pickering. But just get that chin down a little bit lower and start getting some punches off. Their tactics are work rate. Plenty of punches. Using the jab, maybe a weapon against a Brendan Ingle trained fighter, but the sharpness with Isham Pickering. Well, this is, these are the right tactics. He has to draw Pickering into a war, but he wants that chin right down onto the chest. Doesn't want a repeat of that left hook in the first round. So you have to take Pickering's smoothness away from him, and that's what Hunter's trying to do now. Entice him into battle, draw him in. He's got that height. He's physically strong, Michael Hunter. Great start. Oh, left 
Hunter, from Pickering. Hunter walked into it, saves on a shot, down for the second time, looks at his corner, and the difference in class is beginning to tell. Yeah, big problems.